Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Adam and today I'm doing a tutorial on the eye zoom transition. This effect is really easy and it's really easy to pull off. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So before we do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 1500 subscribers right now. We're at about like 1380. So um, my goal is to get to 1500. So if you could go ahead and subscribe, that would help me out. And also you can check out the presets I made. There's links in the description for those. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So what we are going to need for this transition is obviously the, the clips. I'm just going to use the Lil Mosey notice music video because that's what I used in the beginning of this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find the part with the eye. So right here, right? So that's what I'm going to use. If you're going to try to recreate this effect and you're shooting it yourself, what you're going to want to do is have your subject stand still and look into the camera. Obviously you want them to be as still as possible, but um, for this clip, like I didn't shoot it. So we're going to have to do with what we have. I recommend using a zoom lens because you don't want the camera directly in your subject's face. So what we're going to do now that we have our shot selected is we're going to go to the part where we want to actually do the transition. So what I'm going to do is go to the exact frame where I want to do the transition. So in this example, this is the last frame where you can see his eyes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a cut here. Go back one. Make another cut and then I'm going to add a frame hold. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate our clip after we add that frame hold and we're going to extend it out as long as we want it. So after we've extended it, all we're going to do is move it back one frame. Boom. So now we should get something that looks like this. Just like that. So the frame is just going to be frozen. And I'm going to go ahead and extend this clip a little more. Um, to about, yeah, this looks good. So now here's where the fun happens. So we're going to go to the beginning of our clip and then we're going to make a mask. So what I like to do before I make a mask is zoom in real close. We're going to go to his pupil. And then we're going to grab this pen tool over here in the effects control panel and then we're going to make a mask around his pupil okay so after we're done creating the mask we're going to go ahead and press invert and then we're going to zoom out and so now you can see the mask we've created and you can kind of see that there's a hole in his eye so now what we're going to do is we're going to bump the feather up to about 35 so it's not like too sharp and whatnot. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this clip. We're gonna go to the beginning of this clip, hold down shift to go over five frames, make a cut. And then we're gonna go to our new clip and just delete the mask. And then we're gonna add a crossfade. So after we've added the crossfade, the eye will pretty much fade into the next clip seamlessly. So what we're gonna do next is all we're gonna do is just nest this clip. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the beginning of this clip, click on your clip, and now we're going to set an anchor point. So what the anchor point is going to do is going to set a new center for the clip. So what I mean by that is if I set the anchor point to exactly on his eye and I bump up the scale, it's going to scale right into his eye. So we're going to go ahead and click anchor point, and then you're going to see this little circle up here, and then we're just going to move it to his eye. And if your screen goes black, all you gotta do is render out the clip. So now that I just render it, I'm just gonna go try again to get it back to the center of his eye. And we're gonna do this until we get it exactly in the center. So now we have the anchor point directly in the middle of his eye. And to do that, all I did was click on anchor point. I didn't even set a keyframe. All I did was click on it and then I brought the anchor point right to the middle of his eye. So what that does is that makes a new center for your clip. You can see the position has changed, but the framing of the clip has not changed. So what we do next is we come back to the beginning of the clip. We're gonna go ahead and keyframe scale. And so make sure the beginning clip is set to 100. And we're gonna go all the way to the end. We're gonna add another keyframe. And we're gonna go ahead and set this to about, let's go 4,000. And so what that should look like is this. So pretty much the eye zooms into the next clip seamlessly. And for this transition, you're gonna to wanna to have whatever clip you wanna transition into right under the nested sequence. So as you can see, the eye doesn't zoom out super seamlessly. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a cross dissolve. And we're going to move it about, you know, maybe a quarter down the clip. 
and you can just see it fades out and it's more seamless. So that's pretty much it for the iZoom tutorial. It's really simple. And so what I'm going to do now is add a crop to the video just to make it a little better because the music video has a crop and it looks kind of weird. So here's what it looks like. So it looks a little better. But another thing you can do is in the XX Ectentacion sad music video, they had a rotation on the eye. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So all we're going to do is just set a keyframe right here, zero, go to the next keyframe, or go to the last keyframe, I'm sorry, set another keyframe, and then we're going to click on our keyframe and set the rotation to 1x, which is one time, or you can go 360. So 1x, and here's what it looks like with the rotation. So it looks pretty cool, but um, another thing we can do to enhance this is that we can make the keyframes ease in and then we're going to make our last two keyframes bezier so that's what it looks like now so that's a pretty cool effect so that's pretty much it you can do so much with this transition so that's pretty much it for this video i hope this video wasn't too long i hope you guys could understand what i was saying if you couldn't go ahead and rewind and go back to the part where you're confused on so you can complete this transition so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and hit this video with a like if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button comment down below what else you want to see and i'm out thank you so much peace